But now we're actually in a building, and oh my god, Team Aqua's taking over! Gah! Anyway, yes, uh, this bed here acts pretty much as a Pokemon Center, and this PC pretty much acts as a PC. So, there are two trainers here. You can fight one or the other. So, I'm going to go and fight the one just on the bottom, because that's the one I fought first in the recording. So, oh no, it's a girl. Team Aqua actually has girls. I guess they needed to have their sandwiches made somehow. hi oh <laughs> Sexist jokes are sexist, and of course are not actually real. If anybody actually thinks I'm sexist. What the ever, I'm babbling. So yes, of course, since we're fighting a Team Aqua member, we're fighting Carvanas, Poochianas, and Zubats. What fun. So yes, we're fighting another frickin' Carvana. However, we, um, we're, we're using a Zorb, of course. And the Zorb is generally helpful in the way that it helps you heal. But it's also not very helpful in the fact that its attack power... Excuse me, its attack power is utter shit. So yeah. Um, there is Mega Drain and Giga Drain for better power, but they also, those moves have abysmal PP, so... Uh, I do not know why I used a Super Potion there, there was a <laughs> healing thing over to the, my left. But anyway, yeah, I was just fighting this guy for XP because he leaves, and of course he had a Zubat, so Zubat count plus one. Yes, now these guys, I think you need to fight this guy and the other guy is just an optional fight. But anyway, yes, of course it's a great idea to tell your um, people who are trespassing on your property about your evil plans to take over the world, of course! But yes, a frickin' Poochiana. I think these guys could have evolved by now, I mean, just saying. So anyway, yes, lowering, de lowering defense for great justice, woohoo. Odor Sleuth! Um, I don't actually know what this does. It says identified, so I think that makes the mo next move hit automatically. But that doesn't work. We that, but that was just proving false because the roar didn't hit. I don't know. But anyway, yes, our time of vindication is over. Now, we actually get a grass type move that doesn't suck. Ladies and gentlemen, Nairman can finally learn Leaf Blade! Woo! Woo! Yes, Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade is pretty freaking awesome, I have to say. It's got a high critical hit ratio, pretty good attack power, and it's also got a good critical hit. And it's also got a good critical hit ratio to boot. So yes, let's try this sucker out. That is epic. You don't know how happy I am to have this move. I've never really chosen Tree Go for Pokemon Sapphire before. So just having the move in general is a new experience for me. Well, not really. Uh, one of my Pokemon in Heart Gold has Leaf Green, but that, that's, uh, that's beside the point. So yes, I go and fight this guy off screen for XP as well. You know the drill. I'm an experience hoarder, and he had a Zubat, so Zubat counts plus one. And here we go, the boss of this area. Of, it's another admin, and this person has a little bit more of a personality than admin Matt, but not really. I'm actually surprised I remembered Matt's name. So this is Aqua Admin Shelly, and of course she sends out another freaking Carvana. Are you serious? Then again, I can take these guys a whole lot more seriously than Team Galactic's Ranger Pokemon, but that's one problem I've had with the teams ever since first gen. Their range of Pokemon is just so limited, it's hard to take them seriously. I mean, aren't these guys poachers? Shouldn't they have all sorts of exotic Pokemon that are rare and stuff? And I think that would have made um, them a lot more threatening, is if at least they had a wider variation of Pokemon. But yes, this guy actually managed to bother to level to evolve his Poochiana into a Mightyana. But of course, one fighting type move will send this guy down. Oh, but it uses Swagger. Uh, swagger is an interesting move. It functions like Confuse Ray, but it ups the opposing Pokémon's attack. Now, this is not necessarily a bad thing because if you hit yourself with a um with a Confusion attack, then you do damage to yourself based on your own attack. So if you have a high attack stat and a low defense stat, and you hit yourself with Confusion, you're gonna get hurt. So I'd recommend using Swagger on special. Um, Pokemon that revolve around their special types mostly. But yes, defeated, and of course, they, you don't bother to try to, you know, pin the kid down or something. You just run away. God, these teams suck. 
So anyway, yes, for beating these guys, you get Cast Form. Cast Form is a pretty lame Pokemon. Other than Poke Pokedex completion, you're really not going to use it much. Granted, it's an interesting concept where its type and move avail availability changes on the weather, but it's a gimmick Pokemon, and you don't really need gimmick Pokemon, so don't bother. So now we're back outside, singing in the rain, and oh, well, I tried to look down here, but there's nothing down there other than a way up, and oh, look, it's May. You know, you're pretty freaking useless, you know? This is one thing I don't like about the rival, it, well, actually, another thing I should say. It doesn't show up with any sort of relevance to anything. May just sort of shows up randomly. In Gold and Silver, uh, the rival there showed up in places that made sense. He hated Team Rocket, so he would often show up in areas near Team Rocket. Um, so, yeah, and in the first game, uh, Red, Blue, Yellow, uh, Gary was doing pretty much what you were doing, trying to be the very best, like no one ever was. So it made sense that he was just a few steps ahead of you. So, but May? May just doesn't seem to have a goal. She just sort of roams around. Not to mention that her Pokemon selection is pretty freaking ridiculous. This is all she ever has. She never gets anything other than this Whalemur, this Shroomish, and this Combuskin. Ever. Now, granted, the Pokemon change depending on what Pokemon, um, she, what Pokemon you choose. Like, for example, if I didn't choose, um, Trico at the beginning, her Combuskin would have been a Nummel. But still, I mean, come on. This is ridiculously easy. So now we move in and we use psychic types on fighting types. <sighs> Wonderful. And the music isn't even that great either. Um, you're wondering why I'm covering it up with this. The thing is, is that Pokemon Gold's rival music was one of my favorite tracks in the whole game. It's such an epic song. And in the first game, Granted, Gary didn't have a battle theme until the very end of the game, but Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow's champion battle music is still pretty kick-ass in its own right. Not my favorite champion music, mind you, um, but it's still a pretty kick-ass song. Uh, this, it's just too happy and non-threatening. Granted, it matches with May slash Brendan's character, but uh, I just hate how useless this rival is. I, I'd almost say I'd prefer the rival in 4th gen, but god damn it, I hate Barry so much, I just want to punch him in the face. And that's another thing, give me back the ability to name my own freaking rivals, damn it. I liked being able to call my rival douchebag or asshat or fuckface or any of these other inappropriate words. Or I'd like, I also liked naming my rival against a douchebag that I knew so that I could beat him up every time I run into him, okay? You know, I'm just tired of this. I, give me back a rival that's memorable. Granted, the two rivals that are in black and white seem like they're more interesting characters, um, but... Gah! Yeah, so there's the rival battle. It shouldn't be too hard, especially since you've just gotten through this. And oh my god, Solaris is evolving! Dun dun dun! Yes, we've finally gotten our first third stage evolution in the game. And so, Solaris has gone from wearing a ballerina tutu to wearing a prom dress. <laughs> Your dignity just keeps on dropping and dropping, doesn't it, buddy? Yes. So, anyway, yeah, Solaris is now likely our most powerful member on our team, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, May fills her purpose by giving us HMO2, Fly, probably the most useful of the HMs. You can now fly from place to place, which is pretty awesome, especially after the game when you're just trying to get stuff. It's a great time saver. Granted, I won't be show- I might not even show the animation because I'll just jump cut from place to place, but it's gonna be- it's a great convenience, and I'm glad that they straight out give it to you as opposed to you having to find it in Gen 1. <laughs> but anyway, yes, uh, I'm not sure why that other ninja tree didn't fight me. But anyway, welcome to Fort Tree City. I'm not sure if that that's trying to be a pun there uh, with the city name, but whatever. So, of course, we're in a city. You know what that means. It's time to go to the Dream Battle. Fuck, there's something in the way. Uh, that means I'm going to have to move on. Snake Eater. But anyway, yeah, something's blocking the way, so we gotta go and find it. 
Now, I don't g bother getting anything or fighting anyone on this route because everything up to the point where I go is bypassable. And of course, something is blocking that item that I was trying to get. But you don't have to fight any of the bad guys in this um, route. 